Welcome to our 16th video on roots, prefixes and suffixes. The theme for this video is the Greek prefix pan which means all and all the words hanging on the tree branches can be easily memorized using this root connection. So let's start with the word which is the root itself. Pan. Well, pan is an interesting word with multiple meanings. It mostly combines with other words in the beginning and that's why it's called a prefix. Pan lends the meaning all to the main word. Also, in Greek mythology, pan is a god of flocks and herds, typically represented with the horns, ears and legs of a goat on man's body. His sudden appearance was supposed to cause terror similar to that of a frightened and stampeding herd and so the word panic is derived from his name. The word panic means sudden fear or anxiety. Since pan means all, this god also started getting identified as a god of nature or the universe. So one of the meanings of the word pan is the allusion to this Greek god. Disney characters like Peter Pan probably take after him. Though the most common meaning of pan is yet to be uncovered. There are four main definitions of pan in English, out of which the most common one is obviously the pan, that is the metal container in which you cook food. The second most common meaning is the meaning of this root. That meaning is all, as in all inclusive or all encompassing, especially in relation to the whole of a continent, racial group, religion, etc. Like pan American or pan Indian. For example, the phrase Pan-American would imply something that is related or connected to the whole of America. By the way, Pan Am is also the name of a very famous airline and I believe the idea behind such a brand name is that it operates all over America. And the third meaning of this word is to swing a video or a film camera in a horizontal or vertical plane typically to give a panoramic effect or to follow a subject like you can see this camera being panned along the strip of shapes. The next word is panorama. Made up of pan meaning all and orama meaning view, the word literally means all view or the complete view and refers to a picture or photograph which is very wide and hence gives us a complete view. Can you recall that there is an option of panoramic mode in the cameras of most of the smartphones these days? If you have an unbroken view of the whole region surrounding you, it would be called a panorama. In the camera, we can see a beautiful panorama or pan of the whole city which is being unrolled part by part. In a related meaning, the word could also refer to a complete survey or presentation of a subject, like in this sentence. This art gallery presents the full panorama of 19th century art. Next derived word is Pantheon. Since the root Theos means God, so the word literally means all gods. The word popularly refers to a large circular temple in Rome which is dedicated to all gods. The word Pantheon means all the gods of a people or religion collectively like the deities of the Hindu pantheon or the Greek pantheon. Though instead of gods, the word can also refer to a group of famous or important people. A related word is pantheism, which stands for the theory that everything, the entire universe, is a manifestation of God. The word can also denote the worship or tolerance of many gods. After gods, we have the demons. And our next word is pandemonium, which contains the word demon. The word literally means all demons and refers to a state if there were demons all around who were let loose. There will be a wide and noisy disorder or confusion and complete chaos. A similar situation is conveyed by the idiom, all hell breaks loose. And an example sentence would be, As soon as the rumor of the terrorist attack spread, there was complete pandemonium all around and everyone just panicked. Next word is an easy one. Pancreas, which literally means all flesh and refers to a large gland made up of all flesh in vertebrates. 
Pancreas sits tucked behind the stomach and is known to aid digestion by secreting enzymes and also helps regulate blood sugar. Next is panacea which is a very important word in English. Now panacea was the ancient Greek goddess of healing and universal remedy and the word is made up of pan and echos which means all remedy. So panacea refers to the imaginary medicine which cures all diseases or is a solution for all difficulties and problems. And as I said, it exists only in the imagination. Usage example would be, there is no single panacea for the problem of unemployment among youth. The next word based on the root pan is panoply. Made up of pan meaning all and hoopla meaning arms, the word literally means all arms. And this word panoply originally referred to a full suit of armor with all weapons and the complete collection which might include shield, mask, etc. But nowadays it simply refers to any collection of people or things which is very large, very extensive and impressive. Like we can say that our Republic Day Parade exhibits the full panoply of India's military might. Next word based on pan is panegyric, which literally means all assembly, something that relates to a public assembly. And what happens in such assemblies? Long speeches in which someone is being praised or honored. So, the meaning of the word has evolved to a public speech or a published text in praise of someone or something. A panegyric is a speech or article that praises someone or something a lot, like the red guy on the dais is delivering a panegyric in the praise of one of the students of his school and he receives a round of applause from the audience. Next word is a common one, pandemic. Since the root demos means people, the word literally means all people. So pandemic is something that affects all people and is universal. For example, a pandemic disease such as AIDS is a far-reaching epidemic that affects people worldwide. It is not restricted to a particular continent or region. And our last derived word is pantomime, which literally means imitator of all. Pantomime is something that is characterized by all mimicry, wherein you act out without words but with gestures and bodily movements only. And the word generally refers to a theatrical entertainment, mainly for children, which involves music, topical jokes and slapstick comedy and is based on a fairy tale or nursery story, usually produced around Christmas. For example, children thoroughly enjoy the pantomime based on the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Though the word pantomime can also refer to any act of mimicry or an absurdly exaggerated piece of behavior. In this meaning, the word can be used both as a noun and as a verb. An example sentence would be, He made a pantomime of picking up the money from the pavement or He pantomimed picking up the money from the pavement. Now test your understanding of the words learnt in this lesson by filling in the blanks below. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.